Hi guys, or should I say hello? It's me. I put together this Adele inspired tutorial and if you liked winged eyeliner, especially thick winged eyeliner, you will like this look. It has some feathery lashes, a matte nude lip. So if you like that sort of look, just keep watching. First starting to define the crease with the color Soft Light from the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. This color is not going to make a huge impact, it's not going to be a big difference, but you will see it's going to help us out in our next step. I'm grabbing the color Mocha, which is probably three shades darker than Soft Light, and I'm further defining the crease with that, really pushing it into the eye socket. I'm using the color Sheer Joy to just add a little bit of highlight on the brow bone. I'm taking a smudge brush dipped in the color Java and I am running that along the lower lash line stopping just past the edge of the iris on the inside. And this look is not super lower lid heavy, definitely focusing much more on the top lash line. And we are going to put the color Love all over the lid coming up to meet our crease colors. And you can bring that onto the inner corner as well. So I start by placing a little dot on the place where I want the wing to end. So this helps a lot, you have a target to aim for. Then I'm going to kind of work backwards, bring that initial angle down, and then fill, start to fill in the line and create the shape from there. Adele's liner does go pretty much all the way to the inner corner, so you can kind of work in sections here and start to build from the outside in. I'm using the Gucci Power Liquid Liner in Iconic Black. I do think a felt tip liner is probably the easiest way to create a really sharply defined wing. You have a lot of control over it and it's kind of like drawing with a marker. We are going to apply a generous amount of mascara. I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion and I'm going to place this on the top lashes as well as the lower lashes. And you can kind of touch the skin on the lower lash line if you want to kind of deposit a little more color here because it kind of looks like that in the photo. And for false lashes, I am using a wispy style that I bought from Friends Beauty. The Ardell Demi Wispies are a really great option for this. And just make sure that they are flared out at the edges because this look is very elongated and cat eye-like. Adele does have a pretty serious, awesome contour in this photo, so I am using the Balm's Bahama Mama to add a pretty strong contour, and I'm using two brushes to do it, so I'm laying down the contour with an e.l.f. contour brush that's a lot more narrow, and then I'm grabbing a Bedellium Tools brush that's more of like a rounder head brush to kind of diffuse it out, but it is a pretty strong contour, so don't be afraid to really go for it. I am going to use kind of a blush bronzer instead of blush. This is the Balm's Balm Desert, and it's just a really good option if you don't want to have really pink cheeks. And since we've contoured, we're definitely still gonna highlight, so I am using NARS Albatross just on the tops of the cheekbones, and I didn't show it here, but I will put it on the Cupid's bow as well. For the lips, we are going to line first. I am using the NYX liner in Peekaboo Neutral. It's just a really great all around pinky nude liner. So I'm going to line my lips with that first and fill in just a little bit. Now I'm going to use a matte nude color like Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in Melted Nude. I'm going to apply that and then I'm gonna use my finger to kind of soften it and make sure it's really blended in and matte looking. All right, so this is my rendition of Adele, and I hope you guys like the look. If you have any questions about what I used, or why I used it, or whatever, just comment below and I will get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.